How are you guys doing? I want to talk a little bit about uh, being born again and knowing it versus, you know, you're questioning whether or not you're born again. And uh, the I'm going to title this video, Keep the Faith. And I, I want you, if you don't know that you've been born again, I will still prompt you and ask you and say this. It says for a reason in Luke 11, 13, if you then being evil know how to give good gifts on your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? I still plead with you and prompt, and, and uh, as, 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 as we're prompted, to uh, ask for the Holy Spirit that uh, you can know you're born again. Um, I, I, and there's a couple things. I don't claim to understand everything. I don't claim to know everything. I know what my experiences. My experience was uh, according to what's written in Scripture. And with my experience, I knew I was born again because I saw the whole thing happen. And in, in the book of Acts, it tells us, it shows us that they knew they weren't born again. And then Paul laid hands on them, and then they knew they were born again. Um, but we read here in 1 Peter 123 says being born again not of corruptible seed but of incorruptible by the word of God which liveth and abideth forever so I don't want you to I, I, I want you to keep the faith if, if you haven't had a born again experience uh, I would just be diligent in the, in the scriptures uh, do what you can to walk pleasing to God uh, as according to the instructions of righteousness which is the holy scriptures and keep the faith until the end I mean, keep the faith, keep the faith, keep the faith, keep the faith. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. We all know that. Um, we need to believe that in our hearts, not just intellectually. But uh, this is just my uh, another, I guess, message of hope. And I would just say, if you don't know that you had a born-again experience, I would say keep the faith. And I'll read First uh, Peter one twenty three again. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. See, when I was born again, I was lying in bed. Okay, I was lying in bed, and I saw this. I saw him seal me and anoint me with the Spirit. He said these words were spoken to me, and I quote, "You moved a lot of people," and uh, I don't know how that is. My only guesswork on 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 what how I moved a lot of people that would be God doing the work and credit and and, and 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 crediting it to my account. But uh, the only thing I can think of is continually asking you guys to pray and ask for the gift of the Holy Spirit, and uh, that's. Other than that, I don't see how I would be involved in moving a lot of people. Um, but uh, I, I, like I said, uh, I'll title this message, Keep the Faith. I want you to keep the faith. Keep the faith. God wants you to keep the faith. And, uh, you know, don't stop. Keep asking for the gift of the Holy Spirit. And if you don't know you've been born again and you get to the point where you need to choose between taking that mark and getting your head chopped off and you get your head chopped off, keep the faith. Keep the faith. With God, all things are possible. And we've, I've already spoken several times of what my hope is for a lot of people uh, with the Valley of Dry Bones versus the resurrection of the just and then receiving a spirit at the resurrection of the just, uh, given the picture that we're given in the Valley of Dry Bones. And again, I prompt you to ask, please ask for the gift of the Holy Spirit. But uh, if you don't know that, you that you've had a born-again experience, don't freak out. Keep reading the scriptures. Uh, the, the scriptures help sanctify us. They help sanctify our hearts. They show us our sin. We can pray and confess it as we learn. Uh, because, you know, before we knew the scriptures, we were ignorant, right? But uh, as we read the scriptures, we learn, we become knowledgeable of things, and uh, we learn that uh, anything immoral is evil. That's what evil is. God says, you know, he says, um, cease from doing evil, you know? And he says, trust in him with all your heart. Now, if we trust in God with all our heart, he'll direct our path. He'll direct our footsteps, you know? And uh, I hope you guys are encouraged by this. I hope you're blessed, and I hope you have a great day.